Look at this, Georgia, okay? Georgia Bulldogs are a bunch of frauds and pretenders, leading Kentucky 9 to nothing at halftime. This is hilarious to me, how exposed they are being, and people turn a blind eye. I've watched this. They're setting football back 100 years with this offense. Nine points, by the way, is three three field goals, okay? And Kirby Smart and his blonde freaking highlighted hair sucks. And they're just a joke, okay? They're playing horribly on offense. And lucky that they're playing a team such as Kentucky, who has no offensive capabilities whatsoever. And they're still moving it on. They're still moving it on you. Still moving it down the field on Georgia. Kentucky is, by the way, turning it. Uh, <clears throat> and they're lucky that Kentucky doesn't know what they're doing. They get down and go for it on fourth down, turn it over. Uh, instead of taking a field goal and then th throwing a god awful pass in the freaking uh, end zone, uh, Will Levis, uh, uh, who's an overrated quarterback. So, nine to nothing against a horrible Kentucky team is funny to me. It's funny to me. And guess what? This is a road game, and Georgia has just played horrible on the road this year and it's going to be funny to me because by the grace of god you guys got tennessee at home well that's not how it works in the in the sec championship and playoffs and whatnot and that and so forth okay you're gonna have to go outside of your comfort zone and you're gonna have to play like that and expect to beat lsu um tcu tennessee again ohio state oh tennessee would love another crack at you wouldn't they I could tell you exactly what would happen too. I, you know how much I'm worried about Georgia winning the national championship again? Not at all, boy. <laughs> I'm not worried about it at all. But what's funny to me, no, this is great though. It's great to me that they're undefeated, number one. It's, it's, it is amazing because I've mentioned this before, but my fear was that once they won their fluke joke national championship at the end of the year last year, that their fans would be like, you know, over it and not so devastated uh, whenever they, you know, blow it in the future like they always do. Uh, um, but it, what's funny to me is that the Georgia fans are going crazy with hype and like expectations. They think they're running it back. It's going to be so sweet watching it taken away from them. And they're going to be put back where they belong because they're playing like crap. That's not a national championship winning team right there. And it's happened for two weeks in a row now. And people turn a blind eye to it because what? They're fooled. They're fooled by this Georgia. They're fooled by this uh, <laughs> this joke of a team. And it's just very funny to me. It's very funny to me. Go Cats, baby. Uh, can the Cats come back and win this? Who knows? They're not very good. I mean, they're like six and four. Um, they suck. And uh, Georgia's struggling uh, against them, which is funny to me. So, anyway, to hell with Georgia. I can't stress that enough. We got them face up against my jackets next week. I mean, what can I say? You're lucky you got us at home. But uh, who knows? Oh, by the way, the Georgia Tech game starts here in a minute. And we are down our starting two quarterbacks. And our best player on offense. Uh, really thinking that that's going to be going a great against like a top 10 team in the country. Uh, can't wait for that. Anyway, Georgia, what a bunch of losers. I uh, can't even get a touchdown against Kentucky, dude. Are you kidding me? Uh, continually embarrass themselves. Look bad against Mississippi State last week. Look bad again this week. And it's just going to be really funny when they lose. And everybody's going to be surprised except for Sea Dog. So. To hell with Georgia. I'll see you guys next time.